Hey, the the uh, length of, or depth of your all's lineup, you know, top to bottom. What do you what do you thought of the production all around? I think all around, I think we're we're a really good team. Um, you know, just looking off of last year, I think everyone once the year's over, like, oh, we're never going to be as good as we were uh, the year before. And we did lose some really good guys, but this year, you know, I think we've had a lot of people step up um, and and start to play some really big roles and really help us out. What's it meant to you kind of paying your dues two years as, you know, the utility guy and finally getting your chance to be a regular? Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Obviously, I came here, you know, expecting to, to, to be, you know, in this role right now. Um, but the, uh, the ability to come out here and play with my guys and people who I've, like, grown up with and, and been around for several years now, actually getting to, you know, really play with them is, is a lot of fun. The offense in particular, I mean, home runs, doubles, triples, high average, from top to literally to the bottom. I mean, what, what have you thought of that? Uh, you know, I think the beginning of the year we had uh, we had we had thought you know this was going to be a different kind of offense than we had in years previous, but uh, yeah, I think just you can look up and down and you see speed just about all the way through, um, and our ability to stretch out those extra base hits not just on driving balls and gaps but in taking extra bases with our with our speed um, has been incredibly helpful for. Run production. Of course, you guys with 70 home runs. I think Dave said the other day thought you might hit 50 or 60, and you're probably on pace at about 90. Uh, you know, that's not it's not really something we're like striving for. It's just a number that we kind of just you know keep in the back of our minds. But yeah, it's always good for the long ball. Has uh, Trevor Ezell's adjustment to first surprise you? How well that's going? Not at all. He, he's an, he's a phenomenal athlete. Um, no one here works harder than he does. Uh, truly enjoys being here at the ballpark every single day. Um, and he's, he's just one of those guys who's you tell him to do something, he's going to do it. And just as good an athlete as he is, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you stuck him behind the plate or in the outfield or somewhere like that. He would he would uh, he would succeed. Just kind of the guy he is. What does he add to the team? You know, coming in as a fifth year guy and fitting in so quickly. How's that been? Uh, you know, a lot of us call him dad. Uh, he's very mature. Um, goes about his business every single day. Um, but. It just what he brings is, is just a level of maturity and I think a lot of the guys um, have been really really influenced by him not just in his uh, his baseball expertise but his just his passion for the game and his, his routines before the, before the game and stuff like that and I think the fact that he's rubbed off on some of us and uh, just bringing in his experience has really helped us. And the job he's done at the top of the order getting on base with hits walks and he's done really what do you tell the job he's done in that regard? Phenomenal job. Uh, just as far as working counts, um, being someone who's going to consistently put the ball in play and, and early challenge defenses is, 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 is really difficult to be in the field. And uh, every time the leadoff position comes up, you got to think, oh crap, this ball is probably going to be hit to me, is, is, is straining on any defense. I know Dave says you guys don't look ahead, but this is the, the weekend. You can you know, win the conference, win the West. Just how do you all feel about this series and what's at stake? Uh, you know, excited to go to A&M. Um, it's not really, you know, what we're thinking about too much. It's just pretty much winning ball games. Um, every game is weighted the same in the in the W column. But uh, you know, obviously, we want to get down to, to College Station and, and really get after it. How big would it be to win the SEC? Uh, you guys win the West? No, uh, never done it before. I'll let you know when, uh, perhaps, if it happens. Last question. Is there anything really just in the offseason in particular that you changed your approach to the plate? I mean, the way you've kept your hands back this year, the weight shift, anything just technically? Um, yeah, a little bit of uh, a little bit of just physical, putting on a little bit of size, um, as well as uh, getting with, with uh, Coach Thompson and, and pretty much ironing out the creases and stuff like that, um, just as far as where my hands are at, what my legs are doing and stuff like that. But it's been more or less of, of uh, a simplification process, and that's kind of – what's really, really helped me. Increase power, more strength, or just bigger chance to play, and that's what all kind of falling in play. Right, just giving myself as many chances to, to not only put the ball in play, but to put it in play hard is kind of what I've been focused on. Okay. Thanks, Jay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Great.